event that brings artists and curators and art lovers from all over Canada to one place, I think is a good thing. Well, I made this piece from the time I found out I was on the shortlist to about the day before it went on the truck to get here. <laughs> so, an interesting piece and it's something that I've been trying to do for a while. I'm really glad that it came together this way for the Soviet. And I did think it would be kind of fun to put a port body in the Soviet. <laughs> interested in, in how the body interacts with the image and how the body participates in fabricating the image. So I always like to have a very tactile uh, relationship to the image. This is the piece that I made specifically for the Quebec uh, Vienna, where I create uh, fake drop shadows effects with uh, pieces of cardboard on the light table. And I change the uh, ambiance of the room with different acetate. So it's really a reflection of the new uh, video medium. This piece can be shown, but when it's shown, it's shown differently each, each time. It's basically a one year of construction in Toronto, including the failed development site of Burnham. And essentially it is still a slideshow. You yeah. just get a tiny bit of contextual information, a slight animation, a sense of the density of a particular area the city's in, and so on. I got asked to uh, join an artist residency on board a hundred year old two mask schooner to travel around the Arctic Circle in Norway. So I took a bunch of pictures <laughs> and I got home and looked at them and hated them all because the problem with is that it can show you what something looks like, but it can't show you how you how you felt about it and what you learned from it. And so then I figured out that what I needed to do was take all those images that were in my head and put them onto the photographs. It took about three trips up to the Arctic to make this uh, piece, um, trying to get the wind right, the light right. I think it's probably Sarah can acknowledge the light in this region of the world is phenomenal. Um, basically, I was looking uh, at creating a pyrotechnic literally in the, in the landscape. Um, what you see is a purple cloud that appears off the horizon of the ice coming off the North Pole um, region. I mean, close to the next landmass of hit is really forward in Russia. Uh, and as it comes forward, it takes about two and a half minutes to come forward and then overwhelm the camera. You'll see a purple kind of uh, cloud that was there. Very important for me to be there and do an actual performance in the landscape. Uh, artists have to wake up and say, why is this thing I'm going to make today, why does it matter? And all of the artists who we have with us tonight make work that matters. They have bet their lives on the significance of art, and for that alone, I think we salute them. And now the big moment to announce this year's winner. Uh, let me do the appropriate thing and call on last year's winner, the winner of the 2010 Sobe Art Award, Mr. Daniel Barrow. So a big congratulations to all of the artists. The show looks amazing. And an extra special congratulations to Dan Young and Christian Giroux. We, we totally do not deserve this any more than any of the other artists. I, I, I bet Daniel we wouldn't have to prepare for this, and he agreed, so we both lost. Um, about four weeks ago when we came in to install the show, uh, we took a couple moments and we uh, w went outside to look at the title wall and, and look oh, at the names. Oh, yeah. Remember that? Oh, yeah. And uh, we looked uh, uh, over the last nine years, going on a decade, and uh, started to reflect a little bit about um, what an extraordinary catalog of artists that includes. The people at the 18S did a very good job of making sure that we had a great time, a great time with a bunch of the other artists. And um, they're also they're all just such great people. Honestly, this has been one of the best experiences I've had in years. It's been amazing for my career. For me, it's extremely stimulating to be here, and I know that it's going to bear fruit in very, on very short term, you know, the, to be on the short list and um, voila.
the attention and kind of diversity of the work in the show, from you know, traditional media, um, sculpture and painting, all the way up to exactly uh, reappropriated texts and video installation and sound pieces. It's, it's kind of nice to have that recognition of the general art field that is produced realistically across Canada.